Pageant oh. secrets. All right, all right. Here's the schedule for the pageant. Okay. First is the introduction. Last is the Q and A. And in between, oh, that, that's a talent portion. Remember that, Brad? As in, I'll pick something soon. I promise. I'll pick something soon. I, I promise. Pro Brad, I mean, Ted's right. For once. I mean, come on, TikTok. You know, we don't want to let Team Brad fall behind. Really? I mean, you can't sing. You won't dance. You don't play any instruments. What do you do, Brad? What do you do? Well, you know, I like to ride. I read a lot, and I travel. Oh, great! You could show slides. <laughs> she can pack a suitcase on stage. <laughs> That's different. True. I'll think of something. Okay, maybe I already have. Right, we'll get to it. Come on. I hate being on the losing side of anything. We have to win. Ted, we don't have to win. We'd like to win. We will win. I mean, what well, you will. But you'll thank me in your acceptance speech, right? I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> All right, here, here are some of the highlights, all right? Best kept pageant secrets, chapter three. It says here, if you put Vaseline on your teeth, you can smile easier. Mmm, sounds tasty. Yuck. Okay, moving on. Uh, here we go. Try walking in high heels with something balanced on your head so your posture is perfect. Who would do that? Melody, the world is not flat. Your head is not flat. Can we give it a rest, please? Okay, fine, buddy, you're right. Mel, <laughs> you ever hear of uh, putting Vaseline on your teeth? Sure, yeah. It makes your lips slide so you can smile easier. Whoa. What else does the book say? Hey, hey, I think that's cheating, coach. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, good, you're back. Uh, Did you find out who the Miss Tucson judges are? Do they like Perky? Uh, um, I'm working on it, working on well, it. Hurry right up! Hey, Mel, you're not in the pageant yet. You still have to beat me in the runoff. <laughs> hey, Brad, I'm going to Vaseline my teeth from here to tomorrow. And I'm going to go grow the sides of my dress so it stays neat. And I'm going to walk tall and be charming and poised and elegant and feminine. And I'm going to beat your pants off. I think she wants to win. And the loser is... Melody Hansen! You lose, Melody! You lose! You Thank you, thank you. Welcome to the Miss Bar None Pageant. My name is Ted, and I'd like to be your host today. But unfortunately, nobody asked me. <laughs> so let's move on, and I will introduce you to your real host, my boss, a great guy, Mr. Ben Ernst. Thank you, thank you, Ted, thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the first annual Miss Bar None Pageant. Competition. Today, one of our two lovely girls will win the chance to go on to the Miss Tucson pageant. But first, let me tell you, a funny thing happened to me on the way to the Introduce pageant today. the judges. What? The judges. Introduce oh, the right, judges. the judges. Uh, today, folks, we have three judges uh, for our proceedings. Uh, first, a previous winner of the Miss Tucson pageant, uh, who wowed audiences with scenes from The Little Prince with... Uh... uh Sock puppets. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, sock puppets. <laughs> Welcome, Miss Melissa Edwards. <laughs> Next, one of our ranch hands. I don't know why. Uh, please welcome Harry. <laughs> and uh, finally, the founder of Miss Irma's Arizona Charm School, Miss Irma Caulfield. <laughs> now, in a few moments, we'll be meeting our contestants. But first, a word from our sponsor. Folks... Are you feeling tired, run down, need a rest? Come to the bar non ranch. We have what you need. <laughs> Kyle, oh. come here. Yeah. Lots Please leave. Food. Well, seeing a Brad, the guys and me, we kind of took a survey, and we decided we didn't trust you girls alone together. I'm the bodyguard. Good 
Bye, Kyle. Okay, now don't forget, don't forget when you answer your question, you love the pageant. Right. It will change any girl's life. Thank you. So okay. If you, say, if you say that, you'll get the most points. Finally, peace. Go away! Mel, let me in. Hi. Hi, Mel. Listen, I got some bad news. Oh, no, 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 not the piano player. No, no, no she's fine. Um, <clears throat> you can't do the song. <coughs> what? The song. You can't sing The Greatest Love of All. I just found out that it's too expensive to get the rights to perform it in public. Then what am I going to do, Jake? Don't worry about it. I got some options. Polly Wally Doodle? Mm -hmm. Home on the range. She'll be coming around the mountain, the Star Spangled Banner. Public domain. Brilliant, huh? Now you can perform any of those songs for free. I don't want to. Sorry. It's a good song. You're on. Well, it was nothing. Here goes everything. And now, let's meet our contestants. I'm Bradley Taylor from Gross Point, Michigan. I'm five feet, eight inches tall, and I weigh somewhere between 50 and 160 pounds. I love anything connected with horses, especially the bar none. I'm so happy to be here. Thanks. Hi, I'm Melody Hansen from Allentown, Pennsylvania. I am five feet, five inches tall, and I weigh somewhere between 40 and 150 pounds. I love children and saving people from drowning and children. Did I mention that? Thanks. Lovely, just lovely. But her teeth are so shiny. And now let's move on to the talent portion of our show. First up, Melody. Thank you. Thanks. This is a song that has recently <clears throat> become very dear to my heart. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer, yes, those deer in the antelope play, where seldom is heard one discouraging word. And those skies, they're not cloudy all day. And those skies, they're not cloudy all day. Thank you. That's you. your choice. I liked it. And now, Brad has something very unusual for us planned. Bradley! Packing from turmoil to trial. What? We were just kidding. That suitcase thing was a joke. Oh. Linen pants. Watch those creases. And now, folks, next time you're packing a suitcase, I want you to remember to make sure the bar none 